The Insti HIV-1, HIV-2 antibody test is the world's fastest HIV test, producing results in as little as 60 seconds. The test procedure is simple, and the test kit contains all the components required for testing. Package insert, membrane unit, lancet, pipette, alcohol swab, sample diluent, color developer, clarifying solution. All three Insti reagent solutions are color-coded and numbered for easy identification. The test must be stored at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius or 35.6 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Before using the test, read package insert to familiarize yourself with Insti and become familiar with universal precautions. Insti is intended to be used in a step-by-step -step manner with no pauses or breaks during the testing process. Whole blood specimens collected by finger stick should be tested immediately. Open the Insti package and remove all contents from the pouch. Tear open the membrane unit pouch at the pre-cut edge and carefully remove the membrane unit without touching the center well. Place the membrane unit on a level surface. Make sure the tab of the membrane unit is oriented towards you. For sample identification purposes, the tab of the membrane unit may be labeled with the patient's name or identifier. Insti can be used with finger stick blood, venous whole blood, serum specimens, and plasma specimens. The Insti HIV-1, HIV-2 test controls have been designed for use with the Insti HIV-1, HIV-2 antibody test to validate the correct performance of the test and interpretation of results. The HIV-1 and HIV-2 positive controls will produce a reactive test result and have been manufactured to produce a visible control and test dot. The INSTI negative control has been designed to produce a non-reactive test result and has been manufactured to produce a visible control dot only. Use of control reagents manufactured by another source may not produce the required results and therefore will not meet the requirements for an adequate quality assurance program for the INSTI HIV-1, HIV-2 antibody test. Materials provided with the INSTI HIV-1, HIV-2 test controls. Each box contains a package insert, one HIV-1 positive control, one HIV-2 positive control, one negative control. HIV-1 positive control. One brown capped vial containing one milliliter of inactivated human plasma. Each vial is sufficient for 20 INSTI. It is negative for hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis C antibody. HIV-2 positive control. One white capped vial containing one milliliter of inactivated human plasma. Each vial is sufficient for 20 INSTI tests. It is negative for hepatitis B surface antigen and hepatitis C antibody. Negative control. One green capped vial containing one milliliter of processed human serum. It is negative for HIV and hepatitis C antibodies in addition to hepatitis B surface antigen. Each vial is sufficient for 20 INSTI tests. Disposable pipettes provided by the INSTI HIV-1, HIV-2 test controls are for use with external controls only and are not to be used for testing patient samples. Materials required and provided in the INSTI HIV-1, HIV-2 antibody test. Package insert, membrane unit, alcohol swab, sample diluent, color developer, clarifying solution. The lancet and capillary pipette are provided with the test kit, but are not required for use with the INSTI HIV test controls. Optional materials not provided. Pipetter capable of delivering 50 microliters may be used in lieu of the disposable pipettes. Test and controls storage requirements. INSTI HIV test must be stored at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius or 35.6 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit until expiration date. INSTI HIV test controls should be stored frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit 
or refrigerated at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit, until expiration date. Do not use beyond the indicated expiration date. Open the control vials only when you are performing tests. Recap and store the control vials in their original packaging at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius or 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit after use. Test Controls Preparation Read the INSTI HIV-1, HIV-2 Test Controls Package Insert prior to using the INSTI HIV-1, HIV-2 Test Controls. Remove from storage and allow the controls to reach room temperature prior to testing. Mix the controls by swirling before use. Open the control vial containing the control reagent. Collect 50 microliters of the control reagent. If using a disposable pipette, squeeze the pipette bulb and place the pipette tip into the control reagent. Gently release the bulb to bring the liquid above the fill line on the pipette. Raise the pipette and gently squeeze the bulb to bring the liquid down to the fill line. Add the 50 microliters of control reagent from the pipette to bottle number one, the sample diluent, by squeezing the pipette bulb. If using a pipetter, add 50 microliters of control reagent by releasing. The HIV-1 positive control HIV-2 positive control and the negative control are to be run on separate membrane units. Use a new pipette with each new control reagent. Do not add human sample to bottle one when running external controls. Step number one, sample diluent. Once the sample has been transferred into bottle number one, the sample diluent, recap the bottle and mix well by inversion. Open the sample diluent and pour the entire contents into the center of the membrane unit well. The sample should be absorbed quickly. Wait for all the liquid from bottle number one to be absorbed completely. Step number two, color developer. Resuspend the color developer by slowly inverting. Mix the solution thoroughly until the reagent is evenly suspended. Pour the entire contents of bottle number two into the center of the membrane unit well. The solution should be absorbed quickly. Wait for the solution to be absorbed completely. Step number three, clarifying solution. Open bottle number three, the clarifying solution, and pour the entire contents into the center of the membrane unit well. The solution should be absorbed completely. The clarifying solution will reduce the background to provide more contrast to the spots and facilitate reading. Immediately read the result while the membrane is still wet. Do not read the results if more than five minutes have elapsed following the addition of clarifying solution. When reading the results, make sure the tab of the membrane unit is oriented towards you. Non-reactive result. One blue control spot that is clearly discernible above any background tint should appear on the membrane. The control spot indicates the test has been performed correctly and a human specimen has been used. Reactive result. Two blue spots. One control spot and one test spot that are discernible above any background tint indicates that the specimen contains HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies. Following a reactive test result, HIV confirmation testing should be conducted. Invalid result. The test is invalid if there is no control spot on the membrane. An invalid test result means that the test was run incorrectly or insufficient specimen was added. Invalid test results cannot be interpreted. Any invalid test should be repeated with a fresh specimen using a new membrane kit, kit components, and support materials. The rapid INSTI HIV antibody test is intended for use by personnel in medical facilities, clinical laboratories, emergency care situations, physicians' offices, voluntary counseling and testing VCT programs, and other establishments providing healthcare. For more information, please visit us at www.biolitical.com.